What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another review, and today we are taking a look at a premium 4K external touchscreen monitor from Uperfect. Now, the 14-inch model that we are looking at today comes in at £380, but can be found as low as £330. They also make this exact same monitor in a 15.6-inch version, available for around £450. Now, if the price of both of those monitors is a bit more than you would like to spend on an external display, Uperfect have a huge range of monitors to suit anyone starting from £125. Now, I've been using this monitor for just over a month and I must say that I'm hugely impressed with it. So in this review today, I really want to show you all why I think this could be a perfect addition for content creators on the move, gaming and hybrid workers. So let's start with what's included in the box. As well as the display, Uperfect also include plenty of accessories to get you started. You get two Type-C USB-C cables, a USB-C to Type-A if you require additional power, a mini HDMI to HDMI cable, and a 30 watt USB-C power supply. The only item I wish Uperfect included is a made to measure slip case. They do sell a wide range of cases for their monitors, but at this price, I really think one should be included, especially as pretty much every other brand includes some form of protection, even on their lower range models. Over to the monitor then, it's hard not to fall in love with the build quality you get at this price point. The all black aluminium finish with no branding is subtle, but oozes quality. The folding stand of this display is extremely solid and can even hold the weight of the monitor in lower positions without tipping. And at a low weight of 780 grams, it's perfect for not adding too much additional weight to the gadget bag. I would have just really liked to see Uperfect make space grey and silver versions available for Mac users. Now, Uperfect have equipped this display with a 4K 400 nits 60Hz IPS panel with an 800 to 1 contrast ratio and claims of 99% sRGB. But from my tests on the standard settings, I found it to offer 96% of sRGB, 77% of DCI-P3, 220 nits of brightness with a contrast ratio of 730 to 1. Now, there was a small improvement after calibration, but nothing worth mentioning. The only thing I noticed out of the box is the reds just seemed a bit too much. Now, a quick reduction in the settings made for a much more accurate looking display. As well as a relatively good IPS panel for a portable monitor, this display also features HDR, free sync and auto rotate, although the latter is a little bit frustrating and can be slow to rotate back to its main position, but this can be set manually in the display settings. Now over to the ports, on the right side there are two USB-C ports that also feature power delivery and a mini HDMI. On the right there is a micro USB which can be used for OTG when pairing with an Android device, a headphone jack and a multi-function power and settings button. The settings menu can also be accessed by swiping two fingers down in the lower right hand corner. Now I really like the touch menu that Uperfect have added for quick and finer adjustments of the display. My only issue with it is that it times out after only a couple of seconds and can be really frustrating when making finer adjustments. And finally on the rear there are two speakers. Now these are by no means MacBook or even iPad quality. But if you have a laptop with bad speakers, you'll probably find that you perfect ones are better for consuming content than your built in ones. To connect the display to your laptop or PC, you have a couple of options. Firstly, if your device offers display over USB-C, you should only need one cable. With my MacBook Pro 14, only one cable was needed and it is plug and play with no drivers required. Now, power supply was also supplied from the monitor, although the stand mount did get a little bit warm when I was using the 65 watt MacBook charger. I certainly wouldn't recommend using a 100 watt USB-C charger plugged directly into this monitor. As for my PC, I had to use the USB-C to type A for power and also touchscreen input with the mini HDMI cable for display input. Now, I will be honest, I have never been a fan of touchscreens, and I do believe that Apple's implementations of larger multi-touch trackpads are a much better way of working. But this monitor again, without drivers, does support touch on the Mac. But due to macOS still not having proper touchscreen support, it was more of a cool feature than something that you would actually use. As for Windows, multi-touch use is a much better experience. Just make sure that if you are using multi-monitors that you set your main monitor to the Uperfect screen as touch input is always set to your main monitor in Windows 10 and 11. Since setting up correctly, I've actually been using the Uperfect display as a second screen lower down in front of my gaming monitor. This allows me full touch control of my Revelator IO24 mixing software for streaming and tutorial videos. Over to gaming, now sadly the Xbox Series S does not provide enough power from its USB Type-A ports 
to the UPerfect monitor, so you will have to use the included external power supply. But I was pleasantly surprised to see once I had everything up and running that both HDR and VRR were available to be used at the same time. Although VRR is better used for high refresh rate gaming, this is still a useful feature for demanding games that struggle to hit 4K 60fps. Now gaming on a 4K monitor on a screen that is this small just looks absolutely gorgeous and with some longer cables you could certainly use this as a late night in bed gaming display. My only issue with this display for gaming would be with competitive multiplayer. With a 60Hz 10ms panel it's just too much of a compromise for me. There is an overdrive setting but I found this to have too much visual artifacts to recommend using it. The screen size is also just too small for me when it comes to anything competitive. That being said, for casual gaming, this monitor is perfect and as I already mentioned, 4K games look amazing with such a high pixel density display. And finally, the reason I wanted an external monitor, for content creation or even working from home. On a single laptop screen, it's just not enough real estate to do some efficient work. Recently, I have started working a few days a week with our marketing department, creating video content and live webinars, and the extra real estate when using multiple programs and live monitoring multiple cameras and microphones, it just would not be possible without this display. Now, 4K isn't going to be for everyone, especially when you consider scaling. But for my work use, high resolution displays to maximize the amount of programs I can have on screen is just super essential to my workflow. If you were looking to save some money, then one of UPerfect's 1080p screens would also be perfect for most use cases. But if you want the best, then this 14 inch display would be more than worth your consideration. To be honest, my only complaint about this screen is the lack of protective case. This monitor has been in almost daily use since I've had it, and I certainly wouldn't be without it. Since having it, I no longer require two 27 inch monitors on my desk, and I can now work in the exact same way in a meeting room, a cafe, even a train in the exact same way that I would work in my home office. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you liked the video. If you're considering buying this monitor, let me know in the comments section. There should be a link over to UPerfect's site as well. Massive thanks to UPerfect for sending out this display. Make sure you subscribe and I'll be back with some more content very soon.